Hello. In this video, I will show you how to convert a model to be modular. This technique can be used to make models easier to print or add variability. First, we'll need our model. I have chosen Marco from the Eye of Tialivor set by Artism Guild, and I will try to give him a sort. Let's import our model now by dragging and dropping into Mesh Mixer. I will rotate him to be upright. Click Edit, Transform, grab the red Rotate tool, and then rotate him by 90 degrees. This should make it easier for us to rotate our and look around. Next, I will import the sword. Again, drag and drop into Mesh Mixer and select a pen. This is our sword. I will align the sword with the um, axis in order for us to in order to make it easier to work with. So again, select the sword, click edit, transform, select world frame, and then just try to rotate it to the world axis by a series of transformations. That should be good enough. Uh, now, you will notice that if I select transform again and select local frame, the local axis system has shifted to the sort. To fix this, again click edit and select the line and then accept. And now, if I transform again, you will see that the local frame is aligned with the world frame. And this allows us to move the sword along its own axis and more easily align it with our model. Um, you'll notice that Marco is left-handed, or is holding his mace in his left hand, and our sword is in the right hand. So what I'll do is mirror it. So edit, mirror, slide this along and select the mirror direction, accept. And then separate shells, and I can now delete the right handed version. Just select it, um, open object, um, browser. Oh, it's deleted. So just placing the delete does the trick. Um, now we will align our sword with the original weapon. Again, select the sword, click Edit, Transform, and then just use the tools to move it into position and rotate it around so that it matches the original weapon orientation. I also notice that this sword hand is a little bit smaller, smaller than Marco's, than Marco's, sorry. And what I'll do is scale it up a little bit. Click, select, check uniform scaling, and then use any of the scale X, Y, or Z um, input uh, boxes to scale it up, let's say 10%. That still looks a little bit small. So 15%, how's that? That looks about right. Accept. Okay, so this is now let me just adjust this a little bit. That's a bit better. Okay. So this is good enough for the sword. Open the object browser by 
uh, pressing Control shift o or selecting it from view object browser and check this little eye to hide the sword for now now what we need to do is remove marco's mace um, the easiest way to do this is to just click edit generate face groups and you'll see that fortunately for us the default gives uh, the hand over there its own face group which is awesome click accept uh, now click um, press s for select smaller brush size and just double click on this face group and press delete now edit again separate shells you will see that we are left with one large shell for uh, Marco's original body and a series of more smaller shells for the mace which are vertices and lines and the actual mace itself I'll now delete these because we no longer need them you will also notice that there is a hole in Marco's hand now so we'll need to fix this in order to do that click analysis inspector it has found the problem and auto repair all and you'll see the hole has been filled in nicely okay now this is a flat area which would work if we wanted to make him modular but we can do better so uh, unhide the sword again i'm going to align it some more because i don't like the way it's aligned with the wrist this is a matter of taste All right. okay now we will need to duplicate this sword uh, in this position preferably in the final position preferably um, to do this select the sword click edit and duplicate and you'll see we have two of them now i'm going to hide one and now in order to make marco truly modular the way artisan guild does it is you'll need to select marco first the sword second click edit and then select boolean difference and you'll notice this gives us a nice ball joint here in the wrist now if in this preview you're not satisfied with how the sword is centered just click cancel adjust it a little bit by selecting the sword edit transform again a little bit higher and a little bit to the right and do the difference again now that's centered good enough just click accept and now we have a ball joint in Marco's wrist and we also have our sword um, all you need to do now is select the separate pieces, click export and export it to here, Marco Modular. and select the sword export again marco sword 
um, you might also want to scale up the ball joint a bit so that the pieces fit better but um, this is something you'll have to learn based on the size you're printing at, material and type of printer. But this technique should work with everything. Good luck!